Hello, everybody, and thanks again for tuning in. Uh, I'm Josh Brenner. I'm going to give you guys a seven-day stat video today uh, to analyze what's going on in the real estate market for the last seven days. Uh, today is July 17th, so this will be uh, July 11th through July 17th stats uh, for Los Angeles and Ventura County. All right, so I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and right over here, this is the market watch, seven days. Um, this is Los Angeles and Ventura County. Once again, coming soon, we got 206, okay? Um, right here, this is interesting, new listings, 1,954. Look at that line. See, this is inventory coming onto the market. This is what we've been waiting for. Okay, supply has been extremely low. It's still very low. Uh, but now sellers are starting to see that this is the time to get sold. Uh, price changes, we had 1,146, okay, not bad. 454 back on the market, that seems to be a consistent number uh, just about every week. Uh, active under contract. All right, so now if you watch my videos in the previous weeks when we talk about the seven day stats, I love comparing and contrasting the active under contracts and the new listings because the active under contracts and the pendings, those of what, what active just went into escrow, pendings have been in escrow, now their contingencies are removed. Okay, prior to this week, new listings were far less than the current actives, meaning that there were more houses being sold than were coming on the market. Okay, now we're starting to see that inventory coming in, so for the first time, I'm seeing new listings, 1,954, and less than that in the actives, okay? 1,399, about 550 something. Closed sales, 1,615. That's great, because if you look at this number that was pending, all but one of them actually closed, okay, from the last week. Expireds, 201, and holds, 297. Uh, withdrawns 152. The holds, you're probably seeing that because there's a little bit of um, uncertainty with all the rise in coronavirus cases, okay? Um, so these are the seven day stats, all right? I have another thing that I'd like to share with you. This is from the uh, California Association of Realtors. Uh, they did a quick update for us and I'm gonna share my screen again so we can, let me uh, switch over to this one. All right, update on coronavirus market impacts. This is from July 15th, 2020. Um, so many positive signs abound for California's economy and housing market. However, much of the recent data has yet to be impacted by the spike in coronavirus cases and positive tests. Overall, preliminary indications are that the housing market recovered much of its lost ground in June and economic data continues to improve. Still uncertainty has also grown in recent weeks and the downside risks have also increased with a larger likelihood that the recent recovery could lose some momentum in coming weeks. Okay, and so now it goes on to talk about housing demand remains robust. Uh, new mortgage purchase applications increased last week by 4.3% from the previous week. Okay, that's good news. That means because there's no inventory, there's new inventory coming, the buyers are out there, the interest rates are super low, and now since there's more inventory, we have more sales starting to occur. That's great for the market. Okay, the typical rate for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage fell to a new all-time low last week at 3.03%. Guys, this money is insanely cheap. If you've been thinking about buying, this is the time to take advantage of it. You've got inventory coming out, you've got super low interest rates, uh, time to buy. Okay. Evidence of pent up demand. All right. There is also growing evidence that many home purchases were merely delayed during the lockdown. A recent survey by bankrate.com found that 9% of the home buyers delayed their purchase due to coronavirus. As unemployment has fallen in successive months and rates remain near all time lows, more of these home buyers should continue to re-enter the market. An idea that is supported by rising demand for showings and mortgages because they track all our showings and they track mortgage applications. So that's how they know. Okay. California housing sentiment continued to improve in July for sellers. 
Uh, the percentage of Californians surveyed in July who thought it was a good time to sell a home improved to 44%. Okay, that's, that's great news. You know, sellers are getting educated. They're understanding that it's a seller's market. Uh, they're also understanding that interest rates are extremely low, so buyers are motivated. So you have low supply, high demand, sellers finally that were on the fence, they're less scared of coronavirus now, and here we go. Okay, um, that marks the third consecutive improvement after declining more than half during March. And although July's reading was below the pre-coronavirus peak, the percentage of Californians who thought it was a good time to buy was only slightly lower than it was in 2019. Okay, so there's still a huge demand um, to buy real estate, especially here in beautiful, sunny Westlake Village. Um, if you have any thoughts of either selling or buying, please reach out to me. Uh, I still have my special offer going on through the end of July. Okay, uh, for sellers, I will have your home inspection paid for and done upfront, which is a really powerful tool that you can give the buyers to know what's going on with the house. So when they write their offer, which is when they're most in love with the home, they're writing that offer with all the knowledge up front. There'll be no surprises. Okay. And two, I'm going to give you $500 credit at the close of escrow towards any repairs uh, from that home inspection report. And then three, I'm going to credit you $1,000 towards your closing costs at the close of escrow. Okay. So paying for your home inspection up front. $500 credit towards repairs, $1,000 towards your closing costs at the close. You can't beat that. Buyers, I'm going to give you a $500 credit as well towards any repairs found in a home inspection report and also give you $1,000 credit towards your closing costs at the close of escrow. Okay, so get in touch with me. I'm Josh Brenner with Compass. It was a pleasure speaking with you today. I really hope to get to meet you and see you in person. We show home safely, we wear our masks, we wear our gloves, and we take care of business. All right, guys, I'm client-oriented and results-driven. All I care about is your satisfaction and your happiness. I'm in it for you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.